Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my first, my very first Halloween tutorial for you guys. I wanted to keep it super simple and this was one of the requests I got was to do a deer look. So this is kind of what I came up with. Hopefully it looks cute, I don't really know. I just literally played around with it and I was like, okay, this is it. And then I tried to redo it and I feel like my first version of it was better, I don't know. But this is my deer look. These were super cheap, guys. These were like eight bucks from Spirit. I give a Spirit Halloween. These were $8. I was just going to do like little poofy balls, but then I figured I should do the little antlers in there too. But the look is very, 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 very simple. I wanted to do something that was like super easy for anybody to recreate, especially if you were kind of running out of time and you needed like a super quick Halloween look or costume, whatever. I kind of did it glammed up though. I added some highlight and some lashes, but this is pretty much what I did for a Halloween deer look. So if you guys want to see how to get this deer look, I don't know why I always do this when I'm trying to show you guys, you know, I don't know. But if you guys want to see how to get this deer look for Halloween, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So starting off with my Profusion palette, I'm just taking this really nice warm brown and I'm applying that to my crease and I'm making sure that I go all the way out, kind of like extend it to the end of my eyebrow. Once I do that, I take my concealer and I just start to kind of cut the crease. Yes, your girl tried to cut a crease again. This time I feel like I did a little bit better. I don't know. You guys let me know down below, but cut that crease. Now taking this light shade in my cat eyes palette, I'm just going to take that and apply that right on top of the concealer that I just put there. Then I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit more of that brown and just really sharpen up the cut in my crease. Taking my favorite e.l.f. eyeliner now, I'm just going to go ahead and begin to line my lids. I'm also wanting to make sure to kind of make my line, like my wing, super long because we want it to really extend out into this cut crease. And now I'm just brushing away the powder that I had here, the setting powder. I did do my base prior to all of this so I just have a nice foundation on in here. I'm just going to go back through and add some more concealer. I'm using this Maybelline concealer. It's the yellow corrector. This one leaves your skin super bright. It's really nice. Just blend that out and kind of make sure that it goes down the cheeks a little bit. Going back in with that warm brown, I'm just going to go ahead and start chiseling out my cheeks. You want to do your, like, I don't know if this is like contour or whatever the hell this is. You want to do it super thick and nice and warm all the way around. Even on the forehead, under the chin, like everywhere you want to make sure there's a nice warm, like, halo around the face I don't know then taking a light shade from the profusion palette you're going to place that over all of the places that you highlighted with the concealer just to make it nice and matte and bright Now taking one of my favorite highlights from Pixie and just throwing a little bit of highlight in there because you know you girl gotta be sparkling. You know what they say about deer in the headlights. No? Do -do. And then I'm taking that warm brown color and putting it under my eyes. I love that this look is so minimal you guys. It makes it so easy for Halloween. And now I'm going in with this grease Halloween paint. It's just a black grease paint. And I'm going to go ahead and just draw out my nose. I'm doing kind of like a little heart shape down at the bottom here. And then you want to just do a little line coming down from your nose. I did this really big and really long, so you'll see that I actually go in and clean it up. So just do a nice thin line and then fill in your top lip with the black as well. Mm -hmm. 
Then you want to go in with a lip color that's kind of like a mauve-ish brown nude-ish color. I don't know if that makes sense. But I'm using this one from Maybelline and I'll list it down below so you guys know which one it is. And also don't forget to kind of contour the nose. You want to go really wide so that the nose looks kind of wide. I'm also using that grease paint to really just draw out my inner corner. You know I used to do this all the time, you guys. Everybody would always ask me if I was like Egyptian. They always thought I looked really exotic just from having this long eyeliner. But anyways, also going back to an old favorite of mine, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Yes. I'm just drawing little dots along the forehead and the cheeks. And it doesn't really matter how you do them, just throw them on there. I'm also going down the nose to just kind of highlight it just a little bit. And I don't know, I thought it would be fun to just kind of add a little bit of the brown color to the neck and the collarbones, and then just do some of those little dots on the collarbones or whatever this is. Yeah, the collarbones. <laughs> Your girl's stupid right now. final look you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it was super easy um, I definitely want to start off with like easy looks and then work my way into the harder ones when I have like more time to actually practice them I do have like a bunch of different looks that you guys want me to try out so I definitely 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 want to try my hardest to get to all of them um, but for now this is an easy one last minute costume you know something I don't know like this video if you guys enjoyed this easy glammed up little deer look these antlers are fun actually they kind of look like chicken claws maybe i should do a chicken tutorial next um definitely like this video if you guys enjoyed my look and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really does mean the world to me and i will see you guys in the next video bye